thing's crazy. Inside my jeep. <laughs> That's awesome.
freezing. Freaking perfect. I need a spoon. You've been so cold. You like your teeth are cold. I'm sending this up at Crystal. Housekeeping. I'm not disturbed. Huh? What's that? No, just the. You want some creamer? You want a spoon? Um, actually, just hold this a second. Okay. Do you want a spoon or no? Um, you got the door. all the way down. I am. 
I'm looking at the weather and it's calling for rain at one o'clock and it continues to rain uh, through the night. And we could stay till Monday, but we can pack up early and everything will be dry or pack up Monday. We'll have to leave early Monday and uh, everything will be soaking wet. Um, as much as I love being out here, I still, I've got a lot of filming to do at home. We've got a lot of unboxing videos that are coming soon. probably gonna pack up today we're still gonna get breakfast but eat breakfast here and one thing that we do really good at is pack our fears so we got plenty of food so I've got to get back out and do uh, I got unboxing videos at home that I have to do, and then um, I've got to do another adventure video. Oh. So, there's plenty to do. lighting that's overhead is a um, sponsored video. It's actually pretty cool. I have two actually. Let me show you this. So it's lights like this. Um, it has a headlight on the front of it. Lighting is kind of important um, when you're in the, I like this mode right here, just so it doesn't burn up your eyes. And then there's a popo light. I don't know what that's for. And it's also a charger, a charger phone. But this light has been amazing. I've just been putting it on the Velcro that holds these poles up so we can see. I'll put this back up. And my camera light has been, it's called that, oh, it's the Falcon. Wubin, that they've been showing, bringing, giving me products for a while now, but that, it is insane. I just want you to know that this thing is so freaking bright that it has a built-in fan inside of it just to keep it cool. This is crazy. This is insane. I've been using that to This is your regular flashlight. Oh, but I've been using this to light up. I've been eating really bit the camera. This bad boy is freaking awesome. just cook over the because it really I don't really need to have a fire outside I could probably just throw a pan right here and cook Man, what a cool 
cool setup, huh? This awning. It would be cool to test this in the rain. In the snow, for sure. Just really don't have no time. So we have to be back tomorrow. But it's five miles back here. Kind of my first um, overlanding trip with my wife. She's going camping with me quite a bit, but um, the kids are getting finishing up high school, going to college, so it's kind of this last little push. Um, to get them all set up for uh, the world. <sighs> I know this, this whole little setup is kind of expensive. The awning, I believe, is like seven hundred dollars than the tent um the rooftop tent is i think 12 for a budget i mean as in budget tents go that is a really nice tent for um for the price even i was looking at used ones and they're still selling them for 12 to to four thousand dollars and that's 1200 bucks shipped to your house um, which is crazy I've got another awning and tent coming and another rack coming um, I'll probably not do another build um, because I've already done one on the channel. It's, they're all fairly simple or fairly similar. Um, the biggest thing is if you're going to do this, get the right rack for the back of your truck. Cause I bought, um, Hookie sent this to me. Um, the, the rack on the back and it is three and a half inches too low. So I had to buy the, um, um, three inch lifters to lift the tin up um, and then I had to get um, a bracket to lift the awning up three and a half inches and it still rests on my the top of my truck which is so what I did was I put one of those rubber sticky mats um, on the top of my truck so it could rest on it so it doesn't hurt the paint But I would like to test this in the rain and the snow. The only thing with the um, rooftop tent for two people is this thing is hot and it is cold outside. Um, is that we have four pillows in there, a wool blanket. We have a um, a charger that's a 480 watt charger up there that's charging our cell phones it runs the lights uh, my watch um, and uh, um, I think that's it but uh, so it, it's not it feels kind of tight in there it has plenty of pockets, um, but um, oh, and then the ex, ex, um, the supply line to the um, diesel heater, which is a game changer. If you're going to do anything like this, it's insane. Um, this company here, um, I have two 
and one I did, I'll show you right here on this video. Um, but it's Bluetooth, it's got all the bells and whistles, and it's super nice. But it's finicky, like if it has too much blockage on the um, on the hose, um, it will shut itself off. This one here, there doesn't have any bells and whistles, and you could put your whole face, I mean, just put a pillow over top of it, it doesn't care. It just keeps running. Um, um, I like the one with the bells and whistles because it has a Bluetooth app to it where I can adjust the temperature up there. Here, it has a uh, remote, but I don't know how to use it. I've got to study that. Dang, it's crazy hot. Um, um, so we just let it run and it's been in the um, low 30s and that was in the city it's probably was in the high 20s here um, and it's been absolutely we were sleeping on the top of the covers it's amazing but um the other tent that's coming is um, a soft soft shell one versus the hard one and it opens up to the side it's supposed to be a little bit more room um, what I was wondering about this one is when it's pouring rain getting in and out of it could be uh, a challenge because there's no awning or anything uh, to keep the rain from not coming in when you're trying to get out in and out of it um, there is an awning on the front uh, of the tent, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, you can't get out with this, this awning deployed. So you have to go out the side. thing that would fare in the rain because the rack on the back the only thing keeping rain from going into it is the rooftop tent so it could come in from the side wouldn't, wouldn't be ideal anything in the back back there though other than the um, uh, solar generator, I wouldn't want to get wet. Solar generator did pretty good. I don't think you can do more than two days with this. Um, and we're not charging our phones with it. Um, all we're doing is running um, our internet which is nomad internet the um, solar or I'm sorry the diesel heater um, and uh, maybe some lights I think we plug some lights into it 1500 uh, that's what's it 1539 watt solar generator really would be perfect for a, a two-day trip one night two night um, we, this is our second night and we still got uh, 28 or well, 33 hours left we're at 50 percent so we could stay one more night as long as we had another because um, that uh, 48 480 watt uh, generator we have in the electric generator up in the, the tent um, I think it's at 20 percent and uh, all of this stuff we are pre-charged I haven't charged any of my batteries for my camera 
But had, all that's really doing is run the, ge the electric generator, or electric, the diesel heater. And I'm at it. It was fun getting the um, solar panels out and seeing that thing charge it. It got up to 21 uh, watts charging. This thing is, as soon as it starts burning efficiently, it, it'll clean up that blast. It's steadily been smoking, but now it stopped, it's starting to stop smoke. But uh, I'm gonna finish up this coffee and then uh, I think I'll just have, I'll cook breakfast right here on the stove. I'm gonna do a little bit of light cleaning up before breakfast. Um, I like about the, um, what is this, fire hike stove is the little bag that it comes with. These are for my chairs. You could put all your stuff inside of it. super expensive either it's um it packs down to nothing well I mean for it packs down small not to nothing it comes with this cool little case that um Just being a pain in the butt. But it does come with this case, which you can, when it's not, when this is out, you can use it to store stuff. Come on. Just, Covered up. Just trying to get a little bit of stuff done. freaking awesome just for what they can do they pack down small and really having two is uh, for two people is is kind of nice um, I've done it plenty of times with one this is actually my first time doing it with two tables uh, with two people it's actually enjoyable and I'm gonna bring this one in by the fireplace and grab this This thing is aluminum, so it should hold okay. Just trying to figure out a way to set it up. 
There, that's nice. That'd be perfect. All right. I have some leftover steak. And so we'll probably have that for the meat. Some scrambled eggs with cheese. Boom, boom. Um, I need a spatula. stuff. I've got everything turned on high.
perfect steel. Steel, medium rare. Good thing about cooking on the stove is going to sit on the bottom of your pan. Steak is amazing. set up. Delicious. Mm, you don't too much, so you get tough. Yeah. Still. It rare. Mm -hmm. We're gonna eat this. Right there. All right, dinner was good. Breakfast. Breakfast was good. These little green things, can you see that? We filled both these up and that's still like a quarter full. Um, which is freaking amazing. And there, now I'm cooking silverware. all this stuff when we get back to the house we're just trying to not pack stuff dirty you know but a lot of this stuff goes back in canvas bags and stuff like that not super worried about getting the inside of our um, tent wet because <laughs> um, we're leaving today. 
the uh, give a quick rinse. So dishes are done. We're going to start tearing these walls down and uh, start packing up. So we'll see you in a little bit.
this. It's that I only have a little bit of my stuff left. Yeah. Letting us cool off, we can, uh, we can dump it yet.
Let me just take the good pieces. much Now we should be fine. Stop 
do this by myself. And I'm like, why is this taking so long? Babe? You
stuff sticking out on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same as this side. Just a little bit of housekeeping before we wrap up. Um, the electricity that we used through the whole trip, and it could definitely do four days of the same, the same trip, um, was Uliness. This is the 1539 or 1538 um, watt. It ran the um, diesel heater. Um, we charged our phones a little bit on it. We ran the um, Nomad internet off of it. Um, while we were up in the uh, um, nature nest um, tent, we used um, what's this called? Iota series. I Iota series. This is the 420. Um, in two days, um, how much power do we have left? So we have 13%. Um, and it just strictly just ran our cell phones and watch uh, did use this has a light in it and we used it um, but not a, a terrible not much at all um, I didn't even charge my earbuds I just didn't use them so for uh, this is nice it's got two plugs on the back um, it's got USB on uh, on the top and USB-C and it's charged by USB-C which is pretty cool um, but I think two days would probably have been it more. I, I couldn't have done any more than that. Um, the solar panel uh, were 280 watt uh, from Yolaness. That was fun. We put it across the top. Um, inside here, we used this um, this company. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it in the description below. But it has a USB, USB-C. It also has a iPhone charger. Um, 
and uh, USB-C, which is now iPhone chargers too. But I thought that was pretty cool. Um, you could use this in your um, in your vehicle as well. But this was this was very handy. The other thing was um, was this Kumi. Kumi uh, sent this out to me, and we're going to do a giveaway now till Christmas. I'm trying to talk to um, all the my sponsors to try to give something away uh, all the way till Christmas. And um, this is what is the name of this? This is a G G G W five smartwatch. It tracks your steps. Uh, find your phone. Um, this doesn't correlate real well with iPhone, but if you have Android, it does. There's some things that it will do with your iPhone if you have an iPhone. Um, you can do wireless calling, uh, text, um, checks your heart rate. Um, it does live detection. Like if you fall, if it jars, it'll ask you, are you okay? That type of stuff. Um, but we're going to give this away. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to watch the whole video. We have this at the, go to my website at fireandiceoutdoorgear.com and um, I'm going to put a little panel where it says free and you just purchase it. You don't have to pay for the shipping, we'll pay for the shipping. And um, um, it just makes it easier because you can put your email address and everything on there and uh, um, uh, I can just ship it out to you. I got one more thing, one more giveaway. Um, this will be on there as well. This tote company ship, sent me these and sent me one to give away as well. Uh, it's got a lid to it as well. What's the... Bever. Bever. Um, can you see that in the camera? So, Bever, um, these aren't waterproof. Uh, I want to show you what it's neat about. What's neat about it? Um, I have an extra one to give away, and it'll be on the website as well. But the construction's not the. It's kind of flimsy. Um, I brought a hammock because Crystal might have wanted it camp but let's see push this in like this and then these fold in just like that so I, th I thought they were pretty cool you put the lid back on it and um, I got one to give away as well um, so just watch online just go to fire and ice outdoors and we'll have them there Fits. It looks like it fits a lot. Um, but that is it. Am I forgetting anything? Um, yeah. And everything that we have here will be in the description below. So if you want a um, um, the stove, the tent, the rack, all of this stuff here. If I can get you some discount codes, I'll huh? Super bike. Oh, the um, if I can get you some discount codes, I will. Um, but uh, yeah, and walkie, right? Walkie. Mm -hmm. Walkie, um, the foldable bike. It's their H6 Max. It is, it is pretty awesome. At this, the battery size of 40 amp hour. That's insane. So thanks guys for watching, and thank you sponsors for sponsoring the video. And I'll talk to you next time.